And we begin tonight with more possible evidence of election interference by former President Trump. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. And I'm Christine Spiro in for Courtney Bryant. The Fox 5 I team has obtained a secretly recorded phone conversation in which then President Trump urged a Secretary of State investigator to find voter fraud during an audit of ballot signatures. A senior I team reporter, Dell Russell, says it was the first of two calls made by Trump to the Secretary of State's office in the aftermath of his election loss. You know, and I won Georgia, I know that by a lot, and the people know it. In the six-minute phone call, then-President Donald Trump got right to the point. He repeatedly told Georgia Secretary of State Chief Investigator Francis Watson he won Georgia and the election was stolen from him. Something happened there, I mean, something bad happened. The call came on December 23rd of last year, one day after White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows came to Cobb County to ask questions about Georgia's ongoing audit of signature matches. While in Cobb, Meadows met Frances Watson and got her phone number. Ms. Watson, the president. Hello, Frances. How are you? The next day, President Trump called and urged Ms. Watson to find the fraud by comparing and checking voter signatures dating back two years or longer and to turn her attention to Fulton County. You're going to find things that are going to be unbelievable, the, the dishonesty that, that we've heard from. Yeah, right. President Trump's phone call to Francis Watson was followed a week later by a second call to Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. Trump urged Raffensperger to find the votes to overturn the election. And now those two calls are at the center of a Fulton County DA's criminal investigation. You plan on issuing grand jury subpoenas? Well, that's the way a proper investigation is done. And so, yes, we will issue grand jury subpoenas. In his call to Francis Watson, President Trump urged her to closely examine signature matches and look for any signs of voter fraud. When the right answer comes out, you'll be praised. The chief investigator of the Secretary of State's office responded. I can assure you that our team and the GBI that we're only interested right. in, in, in the truth and, and finding, you know, right. finding the information that's based on the fact. It sort of demonstrates the overall pattern. Jessica Casino is a criminal justice law professor at Georgia State. She says the phone calls by Trump to the Secretary of State and his chief investigator shows a long timeline in which the then president was attempting to undermine the election process in Georgia. It does seem to clearly violate both state law and federal law in terms of trying to tamper, influence, or, or otherwise do something to change the votes in an election. In the end, Secretary of State Raffensperger found no evidence of voter fraud in Georgia. Neither Raffensperger or his staff would comment. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.